good morning dear students uh, my name is farhan mazhar and today is 29th of uh, april 2022 right now i am with the 11th chemistry class and we are in the physics lab today i am going to introduce you an instrument which we frequently use in a physics lab and also in our daily life on your screen you can see a metallic bob it's you can say it's a shape of a metal cone and with this we have attached a thread this instrument is called plumb line so this instrument the basic function of this instrument is to check if the objects are vertical or not so let's learn how we use this so this is a thread and at the end of this thread we have this metallic bob so the first use of this metallic uh, the plumb line is this is used to find out if an object is exactly vertical or not for example here we have here you can see that we have taken a a scale and we have kept this this scale vertical now we want to make sure that this scale is exactly vertical for this purpose we use the plumb line the method is very simple what we do we hang the plumb line beside the okay there should be a little gap between the yeah okay so you can see we have a little gap between the scale and the thread and the plumb line is freely moving the plumb line should not touch this table it should be little up okay now the technique is you check by the inspection of the eye the distance between the thread and the rule on the top in the middle and at the bottom if you feel that this distance is uniform throughout because this thread is exactly vertical to the ground if the distance between this vertical scale and the thread of the plumb line is uniform throughout that will mean that your scale is also exactly vertical so that is the one use of this plumb line and this has came many times in the atp exam where you have to describe that how you will make sure that the vertical scale is perfectly vertical okay so now we will uh, learn another use of this uh, plumb line in one of the atp papers he has shown that we have a meter rule which is in the clamps of two retort stands so let me show you this whole assembly so now i hope you can see now you can see this here we have two retort stands and in the clamps of those two retort stands we have a meter rule and the question they asked in that exam was that the right end this right end of this they have placed a rule they have placed a rule under it and they want to make sure that this end of the rod which is uh, in the clamps is exactly at the zero of this rod okay so let me show you how this can be done and we will use for this purpose the plumb line so what we will do from that end we will hang the plumb line and we will see if little up move it little up okay 
down a little bit okay 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 bas 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 so so we using the plumb line is the, the the thread of the plumb line is here so from here you see if the plumb line it means it is the plumb line is little on the right side of this it is not exactly on the zero so what i can do i can move this scale a little okay 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 let me make it steady it's still the the pointer is still not on the zero of the meter rule okay now now look at this okay now it is exactly over the zero position it means that this end of the rod is exactly over the this end of the rod let me show you so this is what we are trying to do we actually want to make sure okay so remove it so now what we are able to achieve with the help of the plumb line is that this end of the of this rod this end of this rod is exactly above this end of the rod which is on the table so that question came once in an atp exam so my dear students this plumb line we are using this plumb line and i can tell you this plumb line is also used you know when the masonry work is done and uh, the people who are building the uh, these walls and the do the construction work they use this okay so the use is very simple with the help of the plumb line they decide that if the wall is exactly vertical or not for this purpose what they do they hang the thread with the wall and they try to check how much is the distance between the wall and the thread and if the distance between the wall and the thread remains uniform if the distance between the wall and the thread remains uniform then that means that the wall is exactly vertical the masons who build the buildings when they are doing the brick work they use this plumb line for example let me do this on this surface so we this more visible so for example here if you want to check that if this is this is exactly vertical so we will hang this and we will check the distance and if the distance remains uniform it's very it's moving let me make it steady okay if that distance remains uniform if that distance of the plumb li plumb lines thread and this this surface remains uniform then that this means that this surface is exactly vertical so uh, my dear students i hope uh, you have understood uh, this so that's it for today and today we have learned how to use the plumb line in our physics lab and in daily life so thank you very much everyone i hope this video will help you to solve your atp papers have a good day god bless you all